Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday morning, and I pray and I hope that each one of you had a beautiful and a safe night's sleep last night. I doubly pray that when your eyes open this morning, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right, just in case I missed something on yesterday. You've given me another opportunity, and I want to thank you. I ask you before you start your busy morning that you open your ears and radiate your mind and let it flow on down to your heart. And that is the word of the morning. And the word of the morning is obtain, obtain. There are a lot of things that we strive to obtain in this life. Education, wealth, houses, cars, money companionship. We, uh, we want to obtain all the earthly possessions that are down here. Let's look at the definition of obtain, get, acquire, or secure something. To come in possession of, to gain or get something that we so desire. To continue to be accessed or in use. That's obtained. And we strive for a lot of things. But this morning, let's see what Hebrews has to say about the word obtain. Hebrews 4 and 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, presents the seat of divine power, and yet the source of boldness of grace. Do you want to obtain that this morning? Grace. That we may obtain mercy, present that which we want first. Mercy is the first thing that we need. Mercy is everything that we need. Mercy and grace carries us for 24 hours all day long. It keeps us grounded, it keeps us safe, and it keeps us secure. If we so desire it, if we want to obtain. And find grace to help in times of need. Reference to the goodness of God eternally. <laughs> that grace does not run out. That grace does not get tired. That grace does not bring about misunderstanding. Is that what you striving to obtain this morning? To all who comes and do any time. To all who comes and doing at any time. So anytime you want it, it's there for you. It's there for the asking. Just take it or need made possible by what Jesus did on that cross. It's there if we so desire, if we want it, if we need it. Jesus made it possible that we could obtain as much grace and as much mercy as we so desire. Are you desiring mercy and grace this morning? I pray that you put grace and mercy at the top of your list to obtain before you put anything else there, even your good health. Put mercy and grace there before you ask the Lord for good health and watch what he'll do. Let us remember the last portion of the verse and find grace to help in times of need. That's why it's so important that you obtain grace and mercy first. And if the Lord Jesus Christ says the same, and I do believe he will, I will see you on Wednesday. Be safe, be blessed, and make sure that you obtain mercy and grace this morning. Bye-bye.